welcome everybody. So welcome at this beautiful place. Uh, it's a lake in Germany. Uh, I live in the Netherlands, but this is close to the border and often come to this place to get my drone videos, to get the cinematic footage, because I think this place has all the ingredients for a nice video. We have this beautiful lake, you have these islands, we have a dense forest and hardly any uh, buildings or man-made structures so it's really this nice landscape for a landscape uh, drone video so this lake is really beautiful with the right conditions so actually today the conditions are not perfect because you have this 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 hard wind therefore a lot of waves and I really like it when the wind is calm and you get this mirror and all the clouds are uh, reflecting in the lake uh, but that's not today. So that is also something I want to discuss in this video. And actually I will make a series of videos discussing the factors that influence your drone footage to get this best cinematic footage. And one of these factors is weather conditions and the time of day. And that is what we will discuss today. So use the weather and time of day to get the best footage and the best video. So what do I actually mean with uh, using the weather? Well, I mean that you plan your flights with the light conditions, as this beautiful morning today, and the weather conditions in mind. One important aspect actually in this is the time of day. Uh, so I normally don't fly in the middle of the day when the sun is really up in the sky uh, with harsh light and almost no shadows. This will not bring the best footage. So I always fly early in the morning as I showed you today this is was really early morning uh, but also in the evening so then you have the actually around the blue and golden hour you have that uh, the sun is setting or even gone already and you have this long shadows and this beautiful light uh, and colored skies often that brings these beautiful images so that is actually the time of day I normally fly So I actually prefer the morning over the evening. The mornings give you really something special, uh, like this early morning uh, today. However, in summer it's quite hard to get the sunrise on your location because you, uh, because you have to get up really early, like I showed you today. But still, it's worth it. It's beautiful to get up in these early mornings at these beautiful locations and start filming. So what's so special in the morning? Well, actually what I really love is when in the mornings you have this, this morning haze uh, across the water or across the fields. So this mist is something I really like to use in my videos. And that is something you can see in the videos, uh, in many of my videos actually. And I will link uh, a few in the corner. And why is this? Because this mist will help you get these cinematic videos because uh, first of all the mist will uh, create or help with you with the depth perception because it gives layers when there is a lot of mist uh, and you have an, a long view then the background will be covered in the mist and uh, the, the foreground will become more pronounced will become the subject and this is really important especially when you have these you fly high and you have this long wide landscape then the subject of your video is not very clear. You have just this landscape and, no, and, and a video becomes appealing when you have a clear subject. So when there is some fog or haze, then the background will become less pronounced and the foreground will come up. And this has the most contrast and therefore will be become your subject. And that makes this, this video more interesting. Another good thing of the mist is that it brings you motion, motion in your video. And that is really important. I mean, that's why we take videos and not photos. You want to have this, this motion, this movement in your video. And the best 
motion is that when you have different layers, so you have a foreground and a background moving in different speeds, and this gives really appealing video. And a low cloud or some mist will really help with this, because when you fly through the mist or through this cloud, you have this strong motion in the foreground and hopefully a beautiful uh, uh, background that is moving slower. And this gives this, this, this beautiful uh, movement and a very appealing video. I really love it. So a lot about using the weather um, and plan your flights. However, easier said than done. I mean, you can plan the, the time of day. You, you know when you want to get up and uh, go out for a video, but you don't have any control about the weather conditions. Uh, so that is something you cannot plan. Nevertheless, there are quite some very good weather apps and you can use these apps to make a selection of the mornings you want to get up early um, to go out and to fly your drone. Uh, some of these apps really give this detailed information about uh, uh, even when, whether there's a chance of uh, fog or haze in the morning. So I really use these apps a lot and I use these apps to make a selection of the mornings I want to get up early because I don't want to get up early every morning. So I really make this selection and go out uh, for uh, uh, some drone flying and actually it turns out to work quite well. So I use these apps and a lot of these mornings I have selected, I come across with these beautiful mornings with beautiful uh, morning haze, morning light uh, for my drone video. So it really helps. I also like to fly when there's really a dense mist, so really this grey world. Because when you fly through it, you get this, this, this bird is making me crazy with its noises. But when you fly through this mist, it, you have this grey world and it's really interesting and mysterious. And I love the suspense of what will appear from the mist um, when you fly through this cloud. So this is something I really like and uh, I've made some videos about it. Uh, but be careful because when you fly in the mist, the world is just a gray area and you don't see your drone very well. And also on the screen, you just see this gray world and something is appearing from it. So you have to be really knowledgeable about where are you, where are the, the, the objects that freeze, because otherwise you will crash your drone. So be really careful. But Doing that, it, it will bring you beautiful and uh, mysterious footage. I really hope that you like this video and hopefully it will help you a little bit to create even better cinematic footage. So if you liked it, please like and subscribe because that will motivate me to make more videos like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.